I don't have big dreams now. I just take it one day at a time. You never know if you'll be here tomorrow. Always had a doctor. I wish one of my dreams is to stop seeing the doctor a lot. So, was that close? 2009. I realized something was wrong when my face started swelling. That's when I went to the doctor and he told me that it was only a sinus problem. So he gave me a sinus flush, flushed my sinuses, realized it was not my sinuses. They still know something wrong and after that, I went to see a dentist and the dentist gave me a referral letter to go to Steve Vico. I found out I had a sinus cancer at Steve Vico Hospital. My dad is in tears and he was like arguing me. Yeah, it was, a, was sad at that time, but I couldn't show it. I needed to be strong for my family. So, in December of 2009, I had an operation. Two weeks in the hospital. So scared of looking myself in the mirror. Let me just go to the bathroom, look at myself. And when I was in the toilet, I was like crying. I was in tears. The first time I saw myself, I was in tears. It was bad. Like, my whole face was like open this side. This was not even like this. It was like just open like this. I could see the whole inside of my face. I just told myself, ah, this is me now. I just have to be strong for everyone and myself. And just carry on with my life like a normal person would. Since 2009, I wake up every day very early to go to a season. That's a really treatment for like eight months. So every day I had to be up at five, went to the season, wait, got home the afternoon, tired, went to bed. Couldn't even eat. Every everything tasted like it was burning. Like hot food, even the tomato. It was like a burning sensation. So I had to cut on lots of things, food and everything. Started with the shakes only. And yeah, and after that, and for another operation in twenty. Yeah, that's when they uh, put a lot of skin crafts on me. So yeah, my life is just like hospital every day, three times a week. So every day is a challenge for me. It's like, why should my life be like this? Why can't I have a longer life like everyone else? I'm glad. I've got the support from my wife, my mom, all the family members, all my friends, but it's a challenge every day to get me up and going out looking like this. Luan had a lot of tissue removed from his face because of the cancer. And he had a lot of tissue transplants to the face. And because of the shrinkage of the tissue transplants, his whole nose collapsed, he struggled to breathe, and he's still struggling to open his mouth. Luan landed up with me a few years later, where we tried to make him a facial prosthesis, but the techniques were not 
that good and the materials were still lacking at the time wasn't really successful about two, three years ago. Through CUT, CRPM, we printed a planning model for Luang and that is where the treatment started. So what we decided was the airway was more important than the, the mouth at this stage. We opened up the airway, we opened up, we did a, what we call a renectomy or removal of the, the whole nose or what was left of the nose so that he could breathe. And we make him, make, we make him a face of prestigious to make him socially acceptable. As you can see, his upper lip is still not in the ideal position. And the facial contour is is, is not ideal, but at least this is a start. I, I got Joseph for a reason, for it knew I could handle it. I was grateful to be still alive, and yeah, to be able to do all the things that I wanted to do. Not every day, but Joseph with work, and be a family and friends, so that's what keeps me going. But it's been a challenge because every time I go in, there's a new thing that's happened, my face to change. So it's a large one. To me, this is normal. I can't express this as it will be something new, something I have to get used to. Because this is normal for me. Because I like being like this. Everyone that I know, this is normal. But I actually want the prosthesis to get out so I can see myself going out where people are standing up there. So he used a medical grade silicone that was designed specifically for facial prosthesis. It can, it can be colored, that is attached to the face by implants. Implants are held in a frame and the frame is screwed onto the titanium implants. I'm excited because I'm going to get a part of my face back. <laughs> Feels pretty good. Just have to get used to it now. But I can't wait for You need to see it when it's in color. Then you can see it properly. There's been, over the last, I'd say, 10 years, there's been a huge improvement in, in our life, like prestige. You can never duplicate what the patient has because there's no movement, obviously. But at least the color match is much better. The quality of the materials are much better. Uh, they, they last much longer. I'm feeling excited today. Glad, actually, because my prosthesis is finished. I get to go home with it. <laughs>